Shalom, sweetest friends. So, halachic question today. Uh, just like to tell you a little story before to analyze the characters. So, it was the first night of Pesach, and Ravosner, also known as the Sheva Salevi, say he passed away in Bnei Brak. He was over a hundred years old. He lived a long life, tremendous posek. There was a tragic burial. Um, it was the first night of Cholamoed. And two people, I think, were trampled uh, and killed the first night of Cholamoy. But Rav Vosner, he was a fascinating posek. He was one from Chachnei Lublin in Vienna. From Vienna he went when Rav Meir Shapiro was still alive and he came as a student to Chachnei Lublin. But he left uh, to Bnei Brak before the war broke out. And in Bnei Brak he became a posek. He left 11 chalakim of Shelos Uchuvos, which are called the Shevas Halevi, which is why we refer to him as such. And he left a phenomenal work on Hilchos Nida as well. So why do I mention this? So I'm going to share with you an interesting halacha, machloket, that the Shevas Halevi had with the Minchas Asher. I should say that the Minchas Asher really had with him, <laughs> who came first, right? So um, the Minchas Asher is more recent. So the Shevas Halevi asked the following question. What should happen if the rabbi should forget the night of Sfirah Saomer? He came to Shul, and he remembered by Mariv, he forgot to count the previous night. So what should he do? Again, he comes to Shul the next day, and he needs to be the one to publicly say the Omer count. The rabbi of the Shul is the one who does that for the congregation. So what should he do? Should he make a bracha publicly or not? Again, the rabbi came to Shul, said, Uh-oh, I'm out of the running. 